You see, one of the last letters Paul wrote before he died was 2 Timothy. And in chapter 1, verse 15, he said, All those in Asia have turned away from him. That's huge! And it's often overlooked. That means everybody in the church of Ephesus rejected him. Afterwards, Jesus came to the same people who rejected Paul and said these shocking words. Hey everyone, there is no nice way to put this. What this person is doing here is a complete twisting of scripture. He is trying to make the case that Paul is a false apostle. And he's trying to do this by quoting 2 Timothy 1.15, where Paul says that all those in Asia turned away from him. From this, this person in, the, in this video concludes that all the believers in the church of Ephesus must have rejected Paul. Then he goes to Revelation 2.2, where the Messiah commends the church of Ephesus for rejecting false apostles. Therefore, Paul is a false apostle who uh, the Messiah commends uh, the church of Ephesus for rejecting. Listen, uh, the problem with this argument is that the church of Ephesus did not reject Paul. Acts 20 verses 17 through 20 shows that the elders of the church of Ephesus received Paul and even wept with him when it was uh, time for him to leave. In fact, it was Paul himself who warned the church of Ephesus about false teachers who would arise within their community. So in Revelation, Jesus essentially commends the church of Ephesus for heeding Paul's warning to reject false apostles. Regarding 2 Timothy 1.15, when Paul says that all who are in Asia turned away from him, in context, he clearly didn't mean literally all. Remember, Paul is writing to Timothy, who was a leader in the church of Ephesus. So obviously, Timothy didn't turn away from Paul. More likely, Paul was talking about his traveling companions in Asia who would not visit him in Rome. Those are the ones who turned away from him, so to speak. That is why, in the very next verse, he blesses Onesiphorus for searching for him and finding him. Additionally, John, the author of Revelation, had a disciple named Polycarp. In Polycarp's epistle to the Philippians, he has nothing but glowing praise for Paul. He calls him a beloved brother. He quotes Paul numerous times and even references a passage from Paul as scripture. It seems unlikely that a disciple of John's would speak so highly of Paul if Revelation 2-2 praises the church of Ephesus for rejecting him. If you're interested, I answer many more of these objections to the Apostle Paul in this article on my website. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more content like this, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. You can also hit hit that little bell so that you'll be notified when new videos like this are released. I'll see you next time. Blessings and Shalom.